What is the purpose of WAI ARIA and how does it work? Making static content accessible can be relatively straightforward, but dynamic content can be more challenging. This is where WAI ARIA comes in. Let's look at what WAI ARIA is, its purpose, how it works, and some examples. WAI ARIA stands for Web Accessibility Initiative accessible, rich internet applications. It's a specification that enhances accessibility for dynamic content and user interface components. Note that WCAG and WAI ARIA are not the same. WCAG provides general guidelines for web accessibility, while WAI ARIA offers specific rules for making dynamic and interactive content accessible for users of assistive technologies. So the primary purpose of WAI ARIA is to improve accessibility for dynamic content and UI components that do not have native HTML equivalents. WAI ARIA works by introducing a set of attributes that you can add to HTML elements to provide additional semantic information. These attributes are categorized into roles, states, and properties. ARIA role defines the purpose of an element within a website or web app. Here is an example of setting the role to button for a development. By doing this, you're indicating to the assistive technology that the element is a button. Roles do not provide any functionality, however. Merely giving this div a role of button will not make it act like a button. To make it look and behave like a button, you would need to use CSS and JavaScript to get the desired result. It is always better to use the native button or input element with type button instead. Since HTML alone does not provide a way to make custom user interface components like tab navigation, tab list accessible, ARIA roles can be very helpful. Here is what a tab list could look like with the role attribute. Each tab in the tab list will have an associated tab panel that will display when its tab is selected. Each tab panel will have a role of tab panel. Here's what each one of those tab panels could look like. ARIA state describes the current status of an element, which can change based on user interactions. An example is the ARIA expanded attribute for collapsible sections. Again, this is merely describing the state. It does not provide any functionality. You would have to use JavaScript to change the state of the attribute when the user clicks the button. ARIA properties provide additional details about elements. For example, the ARIA labeled by property lets you connect an element to a specific label. This will make the elements understandable and navigable for users of assistive technologies. To get the best out of WAI ARIA, try to stick with native HTML whenever possible, since it generally provides more accessibility out of the box. Use WAI ARIA only when HTML falls short. And don't forget to test with assistive technologies like screen readers. Also, make sure your WAI ARIA states and properties update with the content in real time. Avoid overusing ARIA as it can be confusing many times.